hello and uh, welcome. Uh, so we are studying how to use op amp based amplifiers uh, to to make different types of voltmeters, electronic voltmeter circuits. Okay, and all these were analog electronic voltmeters, not digital. So the last example that we took uh, it was of a, a precision rectifier. Okay, uh, so the beauty or speciality of this circuit is how we put this diode or rectifier in this circuit. Okay, instead of putting it here, uh, if we had put it put the diode here, then uh, there will be some voltage drop across the diode which will cause some inaccuracy or we have to take that into the calculation. But if we put it here, the op amp itself takes care of this voltage drop. Whatever the voltage drop across the diode is, the op amp will increase its output uh, by the same amount more so that you know this uh, diode voltage drop does not uh, come into effect at all. Okay? So, that is what uh, was the uh, beauty or speciality of precision rectifier was. And in this way, uh, so we have taken different examples for AC circuit, DC circuits. So, this was AC half wave rectifier. Previously, uh, while discussing DC circuits, we have talked about uh, you know voltage to current converter and a lot of different things. So let me let me just take another example today. Another new circuit. Uh, so the point. I want to stress on highlight is that these circuits which we are drawing are not exhaustive sets or not uh, all that one can uh, do with this. Okay? So, if you think if you invest some time you will come up with new circuits uh, newer ideas on your own and you will enjoy the subject I guess. So, let us take a circuit uh, an AC uh, voltmeter AC electronic voltmeter uh, with full wave rectifier. Okay. So, what can we do? Let us take some simple idea and then we will refine it. Okay. So, we have a voltage unknown voltage to measure call it V i and then uh, we assume this is small. So, we will amplify it. To amplify it, uh, we can take a inverting or non-inverting amplifier. Let us take a non-inverting amplifier. Okay? So, I am taking an in amplifier, non-inverting. So, I give a negative feedback. So, a fraction of the output goes to the minus terminal. This is the input of the amplifier. So, I can connect the input voltage to the amplifier input. This is the output of the amplifier V O. Ah, this is grounded. Okay. So, this is the output voltage and if this is AC definitely then this is also AC and if this is R 2 this is R 1 then you know that this is given by 1 plus R 2 by R 1 times V i but this is AC uh, and now we can measure it using a AC voltmeter. So, this has to be a AC voltmeter simplest solution. So, it must be AC voltmeter like uh, electrodynamic. Okay? Uh, we cannot use PMMC here. Uh, but if we want to use a PMMC instrument, because we know PMMC instruments are often uh, uh, high, higher, uh, more sensitive, 
uh, than this electrodynamic and the scale is also linear. So, if I want to now use uh, if we want to use PMMC meter then what we can do is this We, uh, if it is a PMMC meter, then we cannot connect directly like this because this is AC voltage. So, what we can do? We can take a rectifier and uh, we would like to take a full wave rectifier. Okay. So, what we can do is this. So, let us first draw a full wave uh, rectifier. the bridge I will I shall draw first. Okay. So, this will be the input of the bridge. So, I would say like to have the current like this in this direction. So, I will put the rectifier the diode in this way. Then here I shall put my meter. And here I shall have the other other diode. So you see in the positive half the current will go like this and in the negative half when this side is at higher potential then the current will go like this. So this is my meter and this is a PMMC meter. PMMC voltmeter. Okay, fine. We can use this circuit uh, because now you see the voltage here is AC, but the current that flows in it is DC. It is full wave rectified. In one cycle it goes like this, and in another cycle it also goes like this. So through the meter, current always flow from from left to right. Okay and we can uh, control the range of the meter with a suitable series resistance if you want to change the range of the meter you can add it here in theory you could add this resistance also here in this circuit because it will finally come into series with the meter but now you observe the small problem in the circuit once again is that the voltage drop across diodes should be taken care into the uh, calculation. Okay? Otherwise, there will be some drop here. If we ignore that, then the reading actually that we will get across the meter will be less than what is here. So, we will have some error. So, in this circuit, in the above means this one above circuit uh, the full diode the forward voltage drop forward drop of the diodes uh, causes inaccuracy if we do not take care into the calculation. So, now what we can do ok so, we will modify it. We will modify this circuit and try to make a circuit uh, so that this diode drop does not affect. So, let us let us try to make a modification. You know, the idea is essentially to put this part I mean somewhere here. Okay. So, what I will do let me take this rectifier bridge with the meter and uh, see let me first keep it away. 
then I will make some space okay and then I uh, okay this is connected then I will put this actually here so I open this part I bring it here and I wish I could rotate this uh, but I cannot rotate it so I connect it like this ok. So you see uh, the current will flow like this in the positive half through the meter from left to right and will go like this. In the negative half uh, current will go from here again left to right through the meter and like this and will enter this. Okay. So, this is a full wave rectifier circuit because current through the meter is always from left to right both in the positive cycle and in the negative cycle. Okay. So, here uh, the diode drops does not matter. So, this is very important to note ok and uh, you also observe that this is actually a voltage to current converter. So, this circuit is a voltage to current converter. Why? So, you observe this is at voltage V i input due to virtual sorting principle this potential will also be V i this is time varying call it T this is also T. So, at any and every moment ideally this point will be at the same potential as this ok this is due to virtual sorting. And so, here I can write this is this point is at V i t right. If this is at V i t then this current i i can be written as this is same as V i divided by R 1 right. So, this is this current and the same current must flow through this which means it will eventually flow through this meter and definitely this is a PMMC meter ok. So, this current I is the same current which flows through the meter I. Uh, the only difference is that here this is purely AC, but this is half wave rectified ok. So, let me call it I, I prime ok, I prime uh, is the half wave rectified uh, version or form uh, of I ok I is AC I is. So, uh, if if this is I then I prime is definitely this this is I prime ok. Now, can we take a numerical example on this mm, ok let us take a numeric example for practice question. Suppose, uh, let us take R 1 equal to R 2 or ok, let us take R 1 is equal to um, 10 ohm and uh, 
meter reading is equal to 1 uh, milliampere then uh, V i R m s is equal to how much? So, this is the question. Okay? So, we have the circuit uh, and uh, circuit parameters are given. Okay? R 1 value is given, R 2 value is not given, but we shall see R 2 is not required. And uh, so, the reading of the meter is given how much is the input voltage. Okay? So, I mean that is how we should use a voltmeter, right? We observe the reading of the meter and uh, from that we have to specify the uh, input voltage or uh, we have to estimate the input voltage. So, we know 1 milliampere current is flowing through this. Even it is not specified explicitly, this 1 milliampere is average current okay? because this is a PMMC meter and PMMC meter shows only the average value. Okay? So, although so solution although not specified directly or explicitly meter current is 1 milliampere average okay meter current which is uh, full wave oh, uh, sorry i made a mistake this is full wave meter current which is full wave uh, rectified is 1 milliampere on an average okay so this current this current the average of i prime is uh, 1 milliampere. Okay? So, what can you say about the peak? So, I prime peak divided by pi by 2, this is the I prime average. Okay? Meet average value of meter current which is 1 milliampere and from this we can write that I prime peak is equal to pi by 2 milli ampere right so 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 uh, the peak value of the this current is this right which also flows through this and therefore and you see i and i prime they are just one is AC, another is half wave rectified, but their peak, peak value of I and I prime are same. So, from this we can write I peak, okay? peak value of this current should also be pi by 2 milliampere, right? And if so, then we can write I RMS should be this divided by root 2. Okay, and uh, so this is the RMS value of this current. Now, if we call this voltage, this this so this voltage is same as VI, right? So this voltage, or if you call this point A, then RMS value of VA or RMS value of VI should be I R M S multiplied by R1 resistance. So, this is nothing but R1 is 10. Okay? So, 10 uh, multiplied by pi by 2 root 2 milli volt and you can compute how much is this. Okay? So, this is how you can do it. So, this is a full wave rectified uh, volt to current converter and this way we can measure the unknown voltage by observing the reading of this meter. Okay. 
so i guess i have talked enough about voltage measurement i will uh, now talk about current measurement with op amp based uh, amplifier circuits okay so now let's talk about current measurement Suppose I have a network or a circuit, a complicated circuit and one of its branch is AB and through which the current IAB is flowing. Okay? And I want to know how much is IAB. I want to measure this current. Now the usual way uh, we measure it is by inserting an ammeter in the circuit. So, let me insert an ammeter. Now, this ammeter can tell me the value of IAB. But there is a problem. The problem is that the ammeter has some internal resistance and the moment you insert this internal resistance in the circuit in this branch where no resistance was there. So, the resistance is increased. So, definitely the current can change the current can decrease right okay? and the more the internal resistance of the ammeter is the current will decrease more. So, therefore, the, the value that we will actually measure will not be same as the current which was there in the absence of the meter. So, the problem is the non-zero meter resistance and meter resistance will change the value of I A B during measurement. Okay. So, so, if I want to measure it, I insert the ammeter, but then the current changes. So, how can we get rid of this problem? The only solution is the resistance of this meter should be as small as possible. Okay. So, we should insert as small resistance as possible. But you know if it is a PMMC meter or any electromechanical meter, uh, it is made up of a coil and the coil uh, has some resistance. If you want to decrease the resistance, then you either have to make very big thick coil, I mean thick conductor, you have to take thick conductor and the meter will be big in size, huge in size, uh, costly, that not cost, I mean, which is not uh, feasible and else if you reduce the number of turns of the meter, then also the resistance will be small but then the sensitivity of the meter will be very low. So, what we shall do is this, we shall insert a small resistance, so a very small resistance as small as uh, possible. And then we shall measure the voltage across this resistance by amplifying it. So, it shall take an amplifier and uh, here we shall have a voltmeter. So, you see this is a very, very small resistance, very small resistance as small as feasible considering other factors of the order of maybe 1 ohm, 2 ohms, several ohms. But if we you know if we uh, take a small resistance, then the voltage drop across it 
will also be small. Particularly if the current that you are measuring is small, then this voltage drop will also be small. And therefore, to measure it successfully, accurately, we must amplify it. So, but this is the scheme, right? So, this is the scheme and you see the, this is, this is my, so this is the uh, measuring instrument, current measuring instrument. which is made up of all these things together. Instead of just one ammeter, we have all these things together. But the input impedance, okay, if I just call this resistance as R, the input impedance of this, this meter or instrument, okay, which is made up of all these things together. So, input resistance is how much? Can you guess? This is nothing but R. Why? because input resistance is nothing but the uh, ratio of the voltage between these two points. Okay? So, these are the input terminals which is same as these two. So, this voltage divided by this current should be the input impedance and uh, you can assume that an ideal amplifier should have uh, these currents here equal to 0 or negligible. Okay? An ideal ampere should not take any current or much current. So, this current is negligible. So, this current if you call it IAB, it flows almost through this resistance R. So, this is also IAB. It flows through this resistance R it does not go to the amplifier. That is the beauty of an ampli amplifier. That is one of the necessary property of an amplifier that it should not take any current. It should not draw any current or draw minimum possible current. Okay? So, now let us draw maybe a circuit. Mm. So, we shall draw a op amp based circuit. So, this is the circuit that we want to measure or probe. So, th this current which flows through this branch A B, call it I A B, we want to measure the value of I A B and here we have a small resistance inserted, call it R. Now, this is one part of the circuit, another part will have the amplifier. So, let me draw an amplifier, whichever amplifier you like. Okay? I shall take a non-inverting amplifier. I like that. So, this is a non-inverting amplifier. And uh, suppose we want to measure the output voltage. So, we put a voltmeter here, right. So, this is a non-inverting amplifier. So, this is the uh, this is the voltmeter. So, this is the input of the amp amplifier. Amplifier this is of course the voltmeter, this is the circuit, this is the small resistance. Now, there is a big question, how do I connect it? Because you see uh, I want to measure the voltage between these two terminals A and B and my ammeter as I have drawn has only one input. So, do you, can you guess how should I measure the this voltage? Basically, this amplifier uh, measures the voltage applied at this point with respect to the ground. So, what I have to do? I can connect one of the terminals to the ground okay, and the other terminal here. Okay. So, assuming there is no other connection between this circuit and this circuit. Otherwise, you know we may uh, short circuit some something, 
Okay, so um, so assuming so assuming that there is no other connection between this part of the circuit and this circuit other than only these two red lines. Okay, so this is the way to measure it and. Uh, if you want a bit more detail, I shall put it, say how, how to connect how, how, uh, this power supply of this uh, amplifier. So, say I have a plus minus 12 volt power supply. Okay, so then this is, this is the reference point, ground. Better, I shall draw it this way to indicate that this is just a reference point and this is possibly not connected to connected physically to earth okay need we uh, don't have to connect this to phys uh, physically to earth okay and so this power supply goes here this is v supply plus v supply and minus v supply So essentially, this is the reference point, which is so it actually means this point, this point, and this point are actually connected. If I put same symbol in three parts of a of a circuit, that means these are actually connected. So you can think that, not think it is really that these are actually connected, and this point is connected to this. Okay, so this is current uh, measuring circuit. Okay. Mm. <coughs> Great. Now. So we sell. Uh, I think we have uh, enough examples. If you uh, need more examples, if you uh, ask for ex uh, more examples, please go through the textbooks suggested. If you need any help, ask us uh, in the forum. We shall. Uh, we, uh, we will be happy to make more videos on this and share with you if you want, if you need. And uh, so we shall stop this topic here in our uh, next class we shall take up a new topic which is instrumentation amplifier what is instrumentation amplifier that is again an amplifier made up of op amp but not one on one op amp that is made up of several op amps three op amps maybe and we shall see how that offers uh, simultaneously more gain than one op amp can offer and also very high input impedance. Okay? And then once you learn that uh, circuit, uh, that uh, instrumentation amplifier circuit, in principle all the circuits that we have studied in this chapter, you may modify this uh, circuits in this chapter and replace this single op amp based amplifiers with the instrumentation amplifier in principle okay i may have to do some tricks for that i request you, you think how to do that thank you